What's up guys, TLG here and I am back for a new video. I know I haven't uploaded much recently and to be honest it's because FIFA's dead and I'm only good at these uh, the FIFA's and racing games and I've only got Need for Speed so there's not much point in playing that. So this is going to be my FIFA 15 career mode video. I want you to select out of the few teams I have picked what ones you would most like to see at the start of FIFA 15. Now, at the start of FIFA 15, I will probably play a few career modes. I'll do all my team. I'll do it all. I don't know if I'll upload it all, but whatever. Now, there's a few teams in here, obviously, that aren't on the game yet. So, bear that in mind when you're picking. And, yeah, if you could leave it down in the comments below, what team you would most like to see, and then the most picked team will be the one that I choose to go with at the start of FIFA 15. I will always change it if I, uh, or if you've got more ideas, please put them down in the comments below and I can choose from those if there's any better ones that I haven't thought of. But first of all, we have Crystal Palace. Now, Crystal Palace, they're a good team, well they're not, but they're a good team to play as, as they're quite low down in the Premier League and I thought it would be quite good to see if I could stay up and maybe push for a European spot. But Again, if you want to vote for Crystal Palace, then type down Palace in the comments below. Uh, next up, we have Hull City. Now, Hull City, interesting team. Quite good defensively, all right attacking. They're quite a good team. Mid-table, I'd say, this year. I thought they'd be quite good. Also, I love the orange and black stripe kit. Next up, we have Manchester United. They are my team. I support them. That is what, the only reason I've thrown them in there. And also the fact that they had a poor season last year and I thought it would be quite good to see if I can get them back up to the top of the Premier League where we should be. Now, obviously, hopefully, they have more money than that since apparently we have 200 million to spend which we haven't seen much of yet this season in the transfer window. Now, next up, we've got a team that isn't in the Premier League on this game but will be in the next in FIFA 15. And we do have, here they are, wait, there they are, Leicester City. Now, I thought Leicester would be quite a good choice, as they're newly promoted, like Palace were last year, and I did it with them, and it was a good fun team to use. But they got, hopefully, they have that amount of money, maybe a bit more to spend on FIFA 15, which would be quite nice to use. They've also got Anthony Knockart, I don't know if many of you watch Championship Football, but he, he's quite a good player. Uh, also David Nugent, but now we go down to the sort of road to glory sort of teams and we have Dagenham and Redbridge, here they are now there's only one real reason I picked them, it's because my local club Bromley FC our star striker last year, who was a top goal scorer in the league is Bradley Goldberg, as you can see on the striker position, he is now on the game so I would like to use him on the road to glory, but obviously it's up to you if you want to, if you don't want to pick Dagenham and you don't want to see that road to glory, then don't vote for him. But I would like to do it as of Bradley Goldberg, the striker. So yeah, there's a couple of other things, but obviously Luton, you can vote for Luton, but I obviously don't have a picture for them. You can vote for them. And Bromley FC, If it all comes down to if they're on the Creation Center. Now, the Creation Center is only on the PS3 version of FIFA 14. So I couldn't do it on this, on the PS4. So I'm hoping they've put the Creation Center on FIFA 15 PS4 version. And if they have, you can vote for the Bromley FC career mode. And if that gets the most like, likes, then I will do that one. Unless the Creation Center is not available. And don't worry, the players won't be overpowered. They're not going to be like 90s. They're going to be a like low 50s, like high, like high to low 50s sort of range. Maybe a couple of high 40s, it's all around there. So they won't be overpowered. So yeah, if you want to vote for Bromley FC, please, I would like you to vote for them. But if you don't, then don't worry about it and vote for the team that you most like to see. Now, we go on to a couple of the foreigners. Uh, first of all, we have AS Monaco. Now, I thought Monaco would be quite good because of that massive transfer budget. Hopefully that increases, but they haven't got Hamid Rodriguez, and they might not have Falcao. There's been links to lots of teams, like Liverpool recently, which is a bit of a strange one. I couldn't see that happening, but there you go. Now, in Germany, we have Borussia Dortmund. Now, Borussia Dortmund are a very good team. I've liked them since they got, well, since I saw them in the Champions League a couple of years ago. They've got some nice players. They haven't got Lewandowski anymore, obviously. That's a bit of a letdown, so I might have to bring in a star striker there. 
Now moving on to Italy, there's another good team that in here that played very well last year, and that's Roma. Now, I thought Roma would be good because it's their first year back in the Champions League. They're sort of pushing for that Serie A title to take away from Juventus. So it's going to be a tough one. Uh, and I think finally, unless I missed any out, it should be now this last team in Spain. It's Atletico Madrid. I didn't want to pick Real Madrid and Barcelona because, again, they're going to be the favourites, even though Atletico are the reigning champions, which was a surprise to everybody. But I thought they'd be quite a good team to pick as well. They're going to retain the title, and no one expects them to do it, really. I mean, especially with that new Real Madrid squad. Uh, so, yeah, we've got uh, a lot of good players. No Diego Costa, obviously, he's at Chelsea. That's a bit of a bugger, isn't it, really? But we've got Mandzukic. And, oh, hang on, I've just thought we've got one more. Uh, it is another Road to Glory team. I can't believe I missed them out. Uh, let me just get to them now, these two. There they are, AFC Wimbledon. I thought the yeah, AFC Wimbledon would be good. As well, they they used to be well. I'd say they used to be good. They used to be better until MK Dons came along, and I thought it'd be nice to reclaim their glory, put them up the league. But as I've said, if you have any more teams that you would like me to play as, please put them in the comments below and tell me. I will read through them. If well, I don't really get many comments. But I'll read through them all. Uh, and yeah, so. I will pick them and I will choose whether I think they're good or not and if they get thumbs up by you guys then obviously I know they're a good choice. Right, here we have the teams that I have picked, you can obviously add to this list. So we've got Crystal Palace, Manchester United, Luton Town, Hull City, Leicester City, Dagenham and Redbridge, Wimbledon, AS Monaco, Borussia Dortmund, Atletico Madrid, AS Roma and my favourites, Bromley FC. So, I will be doing a career mode with them, no matter what you say, but it's if you want to see it, really. If you want to see me record it, then I shall record it for you, but as long as that, that uh, again, remember, that only applies if the Creation Centre is on FIFA 15, which it isn't on the PS4 version of FIFA 14, which I don't know what EA were thinking, but then do any of us know what they're thinking, because... Still haven't picked the servers, have they? But anyway, that's could, that could be a whole another video, me ranting about them. But I think enough people do those on YouTube. So, uh, if you've liked uh, this video and you've got any teams or suggestions or you like any of these, please give this video a thumbs up, share it, do whatever, subscribe for the, the career mode that you will be voting for. And I'll read through your comments and pick the teams depending on who's the, uh, the favourite. So, I guess I will have to see you in my next video. No one knows when that will be, because I don't. Uh, yeah, so I will see you in my next video, either at the start of FIFA 15, or soon, if I come up with anything, for FIFA's a bit dead. So, see ya!